What's going on guys, it's Garrett. Today you guys a video on how to create your own eSports graphics such as a header or a banner. And this is actually really easy to do and it looks really nice in a portfolio. It's just something to add, uh, pretty much fill it up. So uh, if you guys can head it over to my Behance right now, you guys can view it yourself. Also if you guys could leave an appreciation, that'd be uh, much liked. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's really easy to do. Um, I'm using the In Control Gaming mascot logo just because I joined them and it's going to be a really nice thing to add. So uh, basically what I do is just hop into Photoshop right away and create a document 1500 by 500. So as you guys have done this, just make the background black, hitting control I, and then right over to Google. And you guys just want to search like an MLG stadium or something, something to add in the background. It's going to be all blurred out anyway. Just copy it, paste it in, and just kind of size it in the middle. So after you guys have done this, pretty much put it in the middle best you can. And um, what I like doing is making it black and white, and then putting a little bit of blur on it. So I go to blur, and I put some Gaussian blur on it. Um, 4.3 is usually what I like to put it on. You guys can go a little higher, a little lower. It doesn't really matter. It's all your preference. And then you guys can start going, putting in your adjustments. So first of all, I got an exposure, and I like grabbing my gamma correction a little bit and bring it to the right. My offset, just keep it the same and my exposure to the left a little bit and this is going to create this nice little dark feel to it so well uh, the next thing i'm going to do is go in the description and download a stock pack what the stock pack basically is is going to be like your backbone of adding all these cool effects to it so Let's bring this one in i did this one for i think i just did it for free yeah and uh pretty much open it up and you guys want to grab the right here if you go to scroll down the bottom blue techie and just drag this in so uh, you're gonna place this straight in the middle and then go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and you want to make the blur all like pretty big probably like around 50 and then you guys can put this under the exposure and then start messing with um pretty much ways to put it so you guys can tell that some of these don't really do anything you guys can put it down the row and uh, some of them do something a lot, some of them don't do anything at all. It's pretty much like the effect that you add. You guys can see if I go to darken, it doesn't really do anything. If I go to hard light, it will. Soft light, it will. So I'm going to leave mine on soft light and then take an eraser and just kind of erase the edges a little bit. Just like this. And then I'm going to go over here to my little adjustment things and make a solid color. I'm going to make this blue, a nice bright blue. And then you guys can start messing with the um, sizes of this. I'm just going to leave it maybe on linear burn. Hop over to screen. You guys can see mess with the um, the opacity, the fill. Everything seems to change with a slight bit of something else added. So I'm going to leave that above there and put it above, actually below the exposure thing. And this is going to be pretty much just the color adding into it. So you guys can actually change the color right away if you guys don't want to make a nice blue. Just pretty much make an adjustment of hue and saturation above everything. And you guys can just drag the uh, dial. Actually, I kind of like the blue. I'm going to keep the blue. Alright, head over back to the stock pack. And then you guys can keep grind grabbing stuff. I'm going to be grabbing this orange light and bringing this in. And I'm going to put this above everything and put this on screen. So after I've done that, I have to match the color, so matching it to the same blue is kind of hard, but you guys can just keep it to the same genre of the blue. Go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur again. And same deal, just kind of bump it up, the uh, rays. And it, don't put it too much, just have it come out of the, the corner right here. And just delete those white ones on the top right hand corner, because you're going to hit control J. And then flip 180 degrees, and just put that up there. And just creates like a nice like ray effect so uh this is pretty much just like the basic stuff right now you guys want to add your logo so you hop over to uh your downloads your saves wherever you guys put this logo i gotta figure out where i put mine i think it's on here no there you go pretty much get this you guys can drag it in i'm just gonna drag it into my thing and then you guys are have to center it. If you guys have CC, centering is so much easier. All you have to do is hit that. And then it just clicks in. You guys can shrink. Put it up. And put, put it like straight in the middle or something. So, uh, I recenter this. There it goes. So, uh, you guys can pretty much, as I said before, mess with the color still. You just put the hue and saturation above everything. And the saturation up a little more. You guys can really still mess with colors. 
Um, sometimes the colors mess with like highlights and the way to get rid of these highlight mess ups is because of the exposure. So you guys can really just hop over to exposure and change it yourself. Put that back to a nice blue. But I'm just gonna leave it the same right here. So uh, actually, I'm gonna check something really quick, see if I can change my hue and saturation of this. See how it looks. Yeah, I'll just make this blue for the sake of the tutorial to match. So uh, let's just say this is blue. What we wanna do now is hit Control J and grab the bottom one, hit Control T and just make it bigger and put it in the corner and tilt it a little bit. And then go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then put it to like six, and then lower the opacity. You can put this on soft light, and then move it back over to the middle. And it kind of creates like a nice little kind of effect right here. All you want to do is erase the bottoms, and it kind of takes away the most of like the darkness. Yeah, and there you got that. Hop back over to the stock pack, and there's just more stuff you guys can add. These blue lights, is I have added these before. I kind of just placed these in the uh, corners. Put it on like screen. And I would like erase most of it right there. And then I'd go back to my stock pack and just keep going through these. Um, I don't really have a standard of what I do. I really just kind of pop around and grab random stuff. Like I'll grab the, the sparks or something and put this above everything. And change these to blue as well. And it's pretty cool. And you know, put it to screen. Screen's pretty much overlaying stuff. And then you guys got this so far. So let me put that like right there. So uh, next thing I want to do is just start adding more adjustments. So go back to your exposure. Take your gamma correction. You guys can make it a little darker. Your offset. I usually leave my offset the same. Exposure, make it maybe a little brighter. And then you want to grab another human saturation. Brightness and contrast. Just take your contrast up a little bit. And then you can finish it off with adding like uh, curves. Curves usually help with bringing out some highlights. So you guys got that so far. And I got to keep looking over to my one monitor because I'm running right now. Because I broke my laptop monitor. I flipped a coin at it, believe it or not. I just broke the monitor like halfway through. So uh, basically what I do is I got to like, look at my uh, big monitor and then look over my laptop monitor because it won't transfer in HD, which is kind of annoying. So you guys got this so far. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You guys can see it. Next thing is I'm going to do is start adding more blur effects. So go to File, Save As, and save to your desktop somewhere that you'll remember. Save it to right here. And then reopen it. It's not done opening. Actually, before I'm doing this, if you guys want a tutorial on text effect like this, let me know. It's a nice little cartoony effect that I did. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you want a tutorial like that. So you reopen your header, hitting Control J, go to Filter, Blur, and then put Lens Blur this time. And lens Blur is like if your camera hits a blur or something, it like it corrects it like this. This is what you guys want, and it usually blurs a lot of it out. And you grab your eraser, and just click your logo, and then click like every now and then somewhere creating a nice effect merge these make a new layer and then get your nice black color grab a brush like size around 200 and just kind of black out some of the corners like this and like that and put this on a soft light so uh, basically that's all you really do there's other stuff you guys can do you guys can add like displacements to it you guys can add distortions noise if you're gonna add a noise, add some uh, dust and scratches. And then put your radius up a little more. Take your eraser. Oops, that's not my eraser. This is my eraser. Erase your logo. And just kind of click around until like the corners are like all like blurred out like that. Merge them again. Duplicate it. And then finish it off with a nice hue and saturation on this. And you guys can make this a uh, darker blue. I didn't do anything. Man, a brighter blue. Something to like offset the uh, color so it's not just like the same color. There you go, it's darker. And you guys can just like wipe away everything so the logo has like a nice fade to it. 
and then you guys pretty much it so uh, that's pretty much all you guys have to do and it looks really nice already it's basically it's really easy to do it does nothing to like too hard and you guys can add like your logos and stuff your like sponsors to the right to the left under it wherever you guys want but this is basically it as i said before there's other stuff you guys can do you guys can go to, like filter you guys can go to render lens flare and put one just say right here and lower the opacity and it just creates a nice blue and a nice flare right here and uh, it just looks really clean and that's all i'm gonna do right now before i start going crazy and start adding random things this guys didn't, didn't take a little too long 10 minutes and 38 seconds took me to finish this and i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a thumbs up as always and it's much much appreciated and if you guys want, I'm going to be doing another Q&A soon just because I haven't got my computer back. I'm really slacking on uploads. I'm going to start uploading pretty much every day or every few days on my new computer. And uh, if you guys want any updates on that, definitely follow me on Twitter. There will be a little like screen thing up my uh, overlay on the top. You guys can follow everything there, my social medias. Also, follow my Twitch account. I'll be streaming very soon in the next few weeks of designing, gaming, a lot of things going on. But if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know on Twitter. Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know through my email. Everything will be in the description below. Excuse me. I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up. And definitely check out my Behance projects. Peace out.